<clears throat> shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we give all praise, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to my elder apostle, Great Millstone, rule and teach well. All right, shalom. It's the brother Kwan from the Great Millstone, Dallas branch. Coming at you with a quick lesson tonight, uh, today, doing the spirit power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Um, I want to do this lesson, man. Simply because, you know, I had a uh, slock you. Let me go ahead and get that fixed right now. I stay having that on. Uh, you know, uh, I was on a uh, social media, social media, a social media earlier today. Uh, the only one I really got is TikTok. You know, I like uh, I don't like it per, per se. But I, I, I go on there just to see because it's, it's such a. Uh, uh, it's probably one of the most uh, famous social medias right now, and you get just you just get to see. And it, it usually uh, the way it's made and it's programmed is whatever you watch the most, that's what pops up. So it's usually like spiritual things that pop up. You know, maybe some other worldly things that might pop up as well. But you know, it's uh. It's mainly people on there, you know, speaking against the word, man. Everybody now, now everyone has a Bible in their hand, you know. Everyone has a Bible in their hand, breaking down the scriptures wrong, might I add, or you know, not even breaking it down, just reading, just to read, you know. Or uh, you got you got you got you got Esau on there speaking about being an atheist, man. And that's what provoked me to do this lesson today, because I was on there today, and the, and it was an Edomite in and his and his live stream said ask an atheist. This nigga had hella people on his. I don't know how many I didn't look, but I I know, hey, his live stream was booming, bro. It was hella mother. It was hella people on there, bro. You know, asking this nigga, you know, debating with this nigga and shit like that. Really going along with him. Eve was on there going along with this nigga. Talking about she believe in a higher power, but she don't believe in the scriptures. And that's every other nigga's, you know, that's that's what everybody that's what everybody fucking say, man. You know? Just say the best when people come up to the to the how on the highways and byways and things like that, and they scoff or whatnot, instead of saying Oh well, the Bible's been rewritten so many times. You know, transliterations. All right, like, just say that you don't. It'd be best that you say you just don't understand the scriptures, man. Just say that, man. Just say you don't understand it. You know, that's the best thing to say. Not to say that is that is fake, because ain't nothing fake about the scriptures, man. You know, I was reading some of the comments. I remember one one comment said, uh. We living in the times of the scriptures right now. Somebody added that person, you know, the at symbol, added that person and said, nah, bro, no, we not. We not living in no Bible times, you know? And I laughed at that. And through through your how about you, how the Lord used me to, to laugh at that, man. You know? Because I laughed at it because it's, it's not true, man. Surely we are living in biblical times, man. You know? Surely we are living in biblical times. Hell, we we there's no there's no really I I don't even like that term, man. Biblical times. This earth belongs to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, whom the world inwardly calls God and Jesus Christ, man. This has always been the Lord's earth, man, and always will be. The Lord created the earth, and He created every being within the earth. Now in these latter days. The people on the earth, all right, that's made up the made up of the flesh that the Lord made, and made up of the spirit that came up from the heavenly Father, man. But they these but Lord these niggas are on the earth speaking against you, man. Now the heathen, that's expected from them, because the Lord gave the heathen over to idols, man. Before you, before you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. 
And for our speckled bird uh, brothers and sisters that look like heathen on the outside through flesh, but your bloodline and lineage go back to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And how would you know that? Because we don't have no ancestry link it, uh, links to that physically. But that's how the Lord set it up so everything could be spiritual, man. All right? So everything can be faith-based. All right? You will know if you're an Israelite if this word sups with you. And when I say this word, I mean the truth of this word, man. Not just all of the, the nonsense that everybody tries to speak about these scriptures, man. For example, the Christian church, man. Telling you to, that Satan re rebelled against the Heavenly Father. And telling you that a, a, a mythical, magical place of hellfire is under the earth. That shit ain't true, man. The scriptures don't talk about nothing about that, bro. You don't know the scriptures, man. I'm going to say it again. Majority of the people on the earth does not know the scriptures. Okay? And it makes sense that it's that way. Because 2nd Edges 15 chapter tells you what wickedness has extensively polluted the whole earth. So majority of the people on the earth are going away backwards, man. Along with two thirds of the, na of the nation of Israel, man. Going away backwards. And they're going to go away backwards. They're going to be categorized as heathen. Until the Lord comes get us up out of this captivity, man. Two-thirds of the nation of Israel will die here in Babylon, the great aka America, man. And for the ones that don't live, live in this land, two-thirds of, of, of our people, wherever they may live in their captivity lands, whether that be Europe, Russia, Japan, China, Australia, Africa, whatever. Wherever land that you are made subject in to serve, and you a two third, two third nigga man, you going the Lord is gonna kill you in that land because you refuse to come back to the heavenly Father Yahweh, man, and His Son Yahweh Shai. You refuse to repent. You refuse to acknowledge Him, man. And and and, and, and it's like you like this is a, this is just like a a, a, a a prologue to my lesson, man. Because I, I got something I want to get off my chest, man. You know? And it makes sense that the way the world is the way it is, man. Because the Lord spoke, the Lord said that this, this is the way the world would be before he comes in this place as a thief in the night, man. All, all, bro, all this shit talking against the Heavenly Father will be repaid, man. It's too, it's too much shit talking in the earth from men that die. You can get sick, you shit, you sleep, and you die, man. How can you be proud? How, man? But it's, it's fucking everywhere man it's too fucking much pride in the earth not enough humility man it's not a fucking enough of humility bro so when you come into this thing you fresh you knew but over time you it, it, you fresh and you knew and you still had that weak ass worldly spirit on you you know and brothers that's been in this thing long enough, you know that's the type of spirit that I'm talking about, man. But eventually over time, and you continue to toil in this thing, you continue to read and study, and you continue to see the way the people are on the earth. And you understand why the Heavenly Father through the Son and the angels, man, are going to come to this earth the way they're going to come to destroy a lot of fucking people, man. It's too much vain talking against Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai, man. And not enough fucking fear. No one fears the Heavenly Father anymore, man.
But the thing is, man, everybody believe they can continue to live their own life. Motherfuckers think they're going <laughs> to 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years later, they're just still going to fucking be here wallowing in their own shit, man. Newsflash, the Heavenly Father is going to send his son very soon, man. This boy Biden just said that cash is going to be com completely done with by what December, what did it say? December 13th to December 23rd. One of those two dates, man, of this fucking year. He's bringing in the digital currency. That digital currency is leaked, is linked heavily to the MOTB, man, to the mark of the beast that's talked about. And Revelation for 13 chapter, man. That is a <gasps> slocky. That is a major prophecy in the earth, in the scriptures, man. That's one of two of the major prophecies that we're looking for. And also, World War Three is around the corner, man, which is also prophesied in the scriptures, man. Okay. That's a, that's another thing I saw on that social media, man. That they hey they feed they feeding these niggas in the army good ass salaki. Not good ass food because what they really what they feed them is abominations, man. But according, you know, to a Babylon the Great and the, and what people eat here, it's you know, it's good food. You know? But it's actually just abominations, truly. You know, they was feed they feeding these niggas in the army lobster, shrimp and crab legs and shit. Something that they don't usually serve them. Mind you, those are abominable foods. But here in Babylon the Great, that's a delicacy. And when you read these comments of what are these videos of these, these niggas in the army getting this good ass food delivered to them to eat, these niggas in the comment section, oh, y'all finna go to war. Y'all finna go to war. Y'all finna go to war. What the, what the fuck are you laughing at? What are you laughing at, nigga? You laughing because they finna go to war, which is true. World War Three is most definitely around the corner. You got Russia also, you know, got all these nations under under them, under under him, under Russia, man. Those Russian Edomites, and they're finna do drills tomorrow, man. Tomorrow, today is August the thirty first. They're start. They're going to start doing military drills together tomorrow. And those military drills aren't going to end to what? I think it said September 8th to the 9th. Uh, uh, I, mean, uh, I think it said September 1st to the 9th. Somewhere around there. In, that, in another article I had seen. You know? So everything on the earth is brewing up according to prophecy. But these people are still fucking wicked, man. You know? They, they still... They still they still proud, man. Everybody is still proud against the Heavenly Father, man. But wait and see. It's lucky. That was my prologue. I'm going to get right into this lesson, man. This is uh, Romans 3 and 3. It's lucky. It's kind of hot in here. It's lucky. Yeah. This is uh, Romans 3 and 3. For what if son did not believe? So what for so for the prologue I just you know spewed that I just spewed out of my mouth. What if some didn't believe that the words that just came out of my mouth according to scripture, man? Of course I didn't bring I didn't bring out every scripture of every prophetic event that I said, you know. But I could tell you where it's at in the scripture. Revel, uh, Ro World, World War Three, Ro Revelations nine and eleven chapter, the MOTB, the Revelations thirteenth chapter, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. How y'all the Israelites, y'all, according to, to the curses, y'all fit the curses the best. Deuteronomy 28 chapter from 15 to 68. Those are your curses, man. You fit those curses the most. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. I know the tribe brothers. Your, your, your trip over here to the Americas is written in the scriptures. You get you a 1611 KJV Bible, you go read your trip after you served the Assyrian captivity. 
You could read about that in Second Edges, the 13th chapter, man. Around the uh, 40, you started with the 40th verse. Okay? So there you go. Everything I, I pretty much said according to scripture. So Romans 3 and 3, so for what if some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? So shall, shall someone be an atheist? Is that going to make the, the, the men of Israel, the prophets of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, to, in, to, in today's time, even, even back then, the scriptures that's written down with these words, man, that the Heavenly Father ordained to be written down in this book, for his sake, for his word to come out, does that make his this word without without effect? Verse 4. God forbid. Hell no, man. No. So all that shit talking, all that running of the mouth that these people love to do, especially here in Babylon, are fucking great, man. The most profitable fucking nation on the planet. As we get as we get further and further in this captivity before the Lord destroys it, we're going to see why it has to be destroyed, man. You know? Let the most high be true, but every man a liar. See? See, it says every man a liar, so you're a liar. No, man. No. I said 8 and 20. They speak not according to this word. There's no light in them, man. I'm speaking according to this word, man. So I, I, I got the light, Lord's will, man. So let's hop in this, uh, my next, my account that I got set up. This is Second Peter's. It's a lock here. I said Peter's, and now no one should just be Peter. This is 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 1. I'm going to get down uh, to maybe the 10th or maybe 11th verse, somewhere around there, and I'm going to end it out. Because it's everything that I want to cover is between these that precept and this account right here, man. This is 2 Peter 3 and 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you. Now understand, these scriptures are written for the Lord's people, the Hebrew Israelites, all right? The so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. This word beloved here in the Hebrew is Dawada. But here, of course, this is the New Testament, so it's going to be written in, a, in the Greek, all right? But beloved in the Hebrew is Dawada. So the Lord is addressing the house of David, okay? The men of Israel, the prophets, because the our, our uh, because uh, David is our uh, is our king. All right, so there you go. Now I write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance. All right, so remembrance means to be brought back. Okay, so means you once knew this thing. Okay. You once knew you were Israelites. No, you once knew the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Okay? Verse 2. That ye may be mindful. Let's lock in. Something threw me off out there. That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing uh, 2 Peter 3 and 3. But knowing this first... That there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. Hey, that's a banger precept right there. Just go into exactly, you know, so I can get a drink. All right, let me uh, let me reread that. Second uh, <clears throat> Peter three three. Knowing this first that the, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust, after their own lust, man. And so living their lives how they want to, okay, speaking how they want to, you know. Doing whatever they like. Alright. Thou shalt not surely die. Okay. So this, this this right here, this this preset right here. This is the whole this is this is majority of the fucking planet earth right now, man. 
Everybody believes that they're right in, in, in whatever the fuck they do, man. So being an atheist, a Muslim, a Christian, a Buddhist, or what the fuck ever you want to be, you believe in that ain't according to the truth of these scriptures is ad, is is uh, adverse to the Heavenly Father, man. All right, you're going against what the Heavenly Father told you to do. You Israelites, man. All right, you have no business whatsoever conversating with no with no fucking heathen. About no scriptures, man, or about your belief. You should be taking your you, you should be taking advice from the men of your own fucking nation, man. But that's just how the Lord set it up in the earth for the people to be this way, man. So he could eventually he could have so he could be righteous and destroying these fucking people, man. Verse 4. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? Hey. One of, one of them said, hey, uh, yo, hey, yo, this God dude you speaking about, he 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 uh we've been waiting for him for 2,000 years. You know? That's hilarious, bro. That is fucking hilarious to me, man. You know? Why is that hilarious to me? Or someone that 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 knows these scriptures like like to myself, you know. Brothers that that that, that talk be these scriptures, you know, and, and brothers ab above them, from apostles and elders on that is fucking hilarious to hear, bro. We will laugh in your fucking face if you say something like that, simply because you know what? The, the, the heavenly Father sent his sent his son, man. The day of the Lord is around the fucking corner, bro, and a lot of people don't see it. But the thing is. The Lord is going to continue. The Lord is going to ramp up the plagues even further. Wait until the Lord start killing people in a large number, man. That's what we're, that's what we, that's what one, that's what we really want to fucking see, man. And I'm not talking about, I'm talking about wicked motherfuckers, man. I'm talking about seeing the wicked perish from the earth. So if you find it evil in what I'm saying, fuck you, nigga. Here at Great Millstone Man of School of the Prophets, we want wickedness pushed out the fucking earth. So that means including the people that push wickedness, man. We want you niggas gone. The heathen, two-thirds of our people, all alike. We want you niggas gone, man. Verse 4 again is saying, where's the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, the prophets, all these things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. In the beginning of the fucking creation, the heavenly father fucking flooded the earth, man. Another, another comment was in the comment section. As a usual comment, God is love. Hey, man, I'm so sick of hearing that stupid fucking shit, man. I am so sick of hearing that shit, bro. Like the Heavenly Father and the Son only got one fucking emotion, bro. Here you are, your stinking ass on the earth. You got all these emotions. But the Heavenly Father and the Son only got one? What are you talking about, man? Shut up, you don't know nothing. The Heavenly Father flooded the fucking earth in the beginning of the creation. The... Who, hey, the Lord either killed millions or billions of people, man. He only saved eight souls. Don't forget all the fucking animals the Lord killed, man. Come on, man. Verse 5. For this they willingly are ignorant of that. And all these niggas are ignorant as fuck. But the Lord said they're willingly ignorant, you know, because those type of niggas that's on that, that was on that comment board today speaking to this fucking uh, Edomite atheist, which it makes sense that he's that because, they, hey, he's Esau Edom. Esau Edom is a bastard. All right. He's a heathen. Heavenly Father not dealing with that, 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 that nation of people, man. 
So hey, then you know you know you got Esau Edom running the whole world. So everybody's walking after the tomb of Esau Edom. And Esau Edom is walking after the tomb of the Heavenly Father. So all in all, let's say the Heavenly Father through the Son got everybody in a fucking trick bag, man. See, a lot of our people, even at the, I, and I'm, I'm speaking on a personal level, a lot of brothers, family members, just don't understand how important this word truly is, man. This word is very fucking important. This is the most important thing on the fucking earth, man. And I don't want, hey, I be ruling the speech, but not in knowledge. That's just why I'm, I'm speaking the way I am, because it's, it's infuriating to see the way the people are on the earth. But it is what it is. That's how the way the Lord wants it, man. So he can destroy these motherfuckers, man. I want the Lord to put me in a very heavy, because I'm going to be around. We are going to be around when the Lord starts acting heavenly in the earth. I just hope the Lord, Yahweh, by Shimei, how shall puts me in such a heavy spirit to watch Jake. And when I say Jake, I just short for Jacob, two thirds of our people, because Jacob is got the letter on chains to Israel, Genesis 38 chapter. All right, our forefather. I hope the Lord, Yahweh, by Shimei, how shall puts me in a very hardened spirit to be able to, be able to see niggas get put to fucking death, man. Because it's going to be a lot of it. And I need to be able to stomach it so I can move forward. So the Lord don't fucking destroy me, man. I don't want to feel for these niggas, man. Because I know they wicked. Verse 5 again. For this, willing, uh, uh, for this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the Most High, the heavens... That were of old, and the earth stank out of the water in the water. You got the Shemayims in the heavens, the waters in the heavens, and you got the water here on the earth. All right. Verse six, whereby the world that that then was being overflowed with water perished. Here's the Lord going into the going into the first death to show you God ain't 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 right. The Lord ain't got one emotion, man. Now, best believe the Lord loves, but he ain't he ain't just love, man. Verse six again. Where about the world that that then was being overflowed with water perished, man? So them niggas that was back then they perished, but they back again today talking that same bullshit, man. Living their lives how they was then. Verse seven. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are kept in store. So the re so Edris, Edris spoke to the Lord through the uh, archangel Uriel. He was like, man, hey, why don't you just bring all, all the people that the Lord won't judge in one lifetime so he can just judge them and we can be in the kingdom, man. Roughly paraphrasing, you know. And the Uriel basically told them, hey, they, hey, if the Lord wanted it done, he could do so. But it's, hey, that's not, hey, that's just not how it's going to go. That's not how it's written. You know? Let's see, verse, what was that? Verse 7 again, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store. So everybody that's doing what they're doing now, you're kept in store. Let's see, what, what is that word, store, man? To, to gather, to lay up, to heap up, to store up, to keep in store, reserve. So they're reserved unto the fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men, bro. That fire is going to come by the way of thermonuclear destruction in the midst of World War III. You will feel the fire here on earth in your flesh. The Lord is going to destroy the whole land of Babylon, the great AKA America, man. If the heavenly father, when the heavenly father and his son come with those chariots, 
while those missiles are hitting this place, if you are still here left on this land and the Lord has not beamed you up within those spaceships, you will fucking die here on this in this in this captivity, man. It may sound sci-fi to you, but according to these scriptures, it's very real. It's damn real, man. Verse 8. But beloved, the house of David again, be not in it of this one thing. And one day is with the Lord of a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. That just broke down Genesis, the first chapter to you, man. So those days that the Lord was speaking about in, the, in Genesis, the first chapter, those days, one of those days was actually a thousand years. All right. Verse nine, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. His promise to who? You know, what does this promise consist of? Slack you. Does this promise consist of every nation on the planet Earth? being fully accepted in the kingdom of heaven no does this promise um include everybody perishing on the earth and extending up to heaven everybody living a highly jolly life in the heavens no that promise is talking about the promise he made to his friend abraham man telling him that his sea line would be be as the stars of heaven and as the sands of the sea that they won't be be able to be numbered in the kingdom of heaven man This book is only talking to Israelites, man. Only has it ever been and only will it ever be, man. All right. As some men count slackness. All right. So as some men count slackness. And what that, what that comment has said on that on this live stream, man. Said, hey, we've been waiting on the Lord for two thousand years. Oh, uh, uh, cool. Cool, nigga. Cool, that's cool. That's all fine and dandy, man. That's all fine and dandy until your death of you and your kin next uh, 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 next to you are dead in front of your fucking face, bitch. It's all good then until y'all until, until your death is in front of your fucking face, man. Everyone is proud until they're until they're about to fucking die, man. So y'all leave it up, y'all laugh. Y'all, man, it is crazy. I tell you, boy, it's crazy, man. These scriptures are fire, man. Because the Lord is even, even more closer than he's ever been to this earth. To revealing himself to these people on this earth, man. And when the Lord comes, it's all smoke. No talking, man. You people are going to be putting, put to death at an exponential rate. Soon everybody gonna know when when motherfuckers start dying at a at a <laughs> at a on a on a mass scale, then people gonna consider oh this this guy right here, this guy right here. Yeah. Now 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 you consider. Now you consider. But it's gonna be too late, man. <laughs> I know, look, hey, man, I love you how about shit how shine the way he's he's bro. The ultimate fucking director, man. The ultimate fucking movie director. He couldn't have wrote this movie no better than what he wrote it. <laughs> Woo. Verse 9 again. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but his long suffering to us work. So the Lord is only letting you build up that tab with your tongue, man. All that shit talking you doing against the Heavenly Father, Lord, just letting you letting you move your mouth. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. All of who all of his people should come to repentance. You know? But are that all is really, you know, is really all they're talking about in one third of the nation, Israel. Because they're the only one written about who's gonna come back to him, man. That small remnant. Verse 10. I'm going to end it off on verse 11. Verse 10. Here's the banger. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. 
I'm going to say it again. The day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. There has never been a, a that I know of or that any, I don't think anybody else has heard of a thief that yells out some outside somebody's house and hey, that, so, telling them, hey, I'm finna rob y'all. Y'all get ready. I don't I have never heard of a thief say any of those things, you know, or do any of those things, man. So the Lord's gonna come as a thief in the night. I mean he's gonna come as a as a surprise to a lot of fucking people, man. Cause a lot of people aren't looking for the Heavenly Father to return, man. Right now, I'm I'm at this park right now, man. I see Jacob, I see his, I see I see uh, uh Israelite father and his son, man. Southern tribe, you know. Negro, I see him and his son over here playing catch. You know, that's all cool and, and dandy. You know? But it's no telling who that who that your little boy was in his past life. According to scripture, reincarnation is biblical. Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. And there's no telling what 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 that father has done in his lifetime that he's in right now or in his past lifetimes, man. You know, so they could be a part of those ones that be burned up as well. And here they are; they just running through this 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 green field of grass, playing catch without a what a care in the world, man. Without a care in the fucking world. So truly, man, these scriptures are heavy, man. Very, very heavy. Because hey, no one is looking for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to come back to this earth. You know? And when I say nobody, I mean majority of the of the, of the earth, man. Verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise. With a great noise. Gold, that great noise is talking about the explosions of those nuclear missiles, man. Go up on YouTube and look and, and, and type in nuclear blast. Nuclear, nuclear explosion sounds, man. They are very, very, very loud. Even a C4 explosion is loud. If you're close to it enough, you know. So how much more? Millions of millions of millions of, of millions of, of tons of TNT. All right. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Elements. I wonder what that word, you know. Man. Elements. Any, any, any first thing from which the others belong to some series of composite, 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 hold, take their rise and element first principle. Let me see the uh, things have come. The materials cause of the universe. Whoa, that's a, that's a damn good one. The heavenly bodies, either as parts of the heavens. Oh, let's talk about, you know, the, uh, the other planets. Primary flow, normal precepts, art, science, discipline, mathematics, geometry. I like verse two, the elements from which all things have come, the materials causes of the universe. Your flesh is made up of elements that come from the earth. Okay? Okay? So with that being said, those elements ain't just talking about the thing, the material things you can hold with your hands. <laughs> it's talking about you, nigga. You are a part of those elements. You, <laughs> your, your body is made up of elements of the earth. Shall melt with fervent heat. The Lord is going to melt, melt people, man, through the way of fire. The earth also in the works that they're in shall be burned up. So the works, all right, all these are religions, the, uh, all these major companies, industries, uh, all these beliefs, you know, they're gonna be they're gonna be fucking swallowed up in that heat, man. All these all this wickedness in the earth is gonna be swallowed up in the heat. Alright. Soon the Lord is finna make an example out of a lot of fucking people, bro. This this time is gonna be so fucking great, it's gonna be talked about forever. Verse 11, here's the point I'm ended out. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, everything we just talked about, 
All these things shall soon come to pass. Okay. What manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness, man? This, this, this is holy conversation right here. And this is godliness right here. What I'm speaking on to you people, man. To what? To repent unto y'all by Shemihah was shy before it's too late, man. The doors of mercy are closing very quickly. And a lot of our people are going to be destroyed. At least they repent, man. Lord willing, that was edifying with that. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash, the water, to you brothers that, uh, you know, brothers and sisters that listen and learn. Shalom. On to the next one.